The tennis serve is one of the most complex strokes in all sports and it can therefore be quite challenging to make changes to your service motion. However, when it comes to the pinpoint stance and the platform stance, this is something that can be quite easily adapted. And I therefore encourage you to experiment with both of these and you will quickly find which one works best for your serve. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you some different variations on both of these stances. And let's start off with the platform stance. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is what I call the regular platform stance. And this stance is used by Milos Raonic and is one of the most comfortable platform stances to execute. And basically, you're gonna have your feet shoulder width apart. Now the front foot is gonna be slightly pointing forward. The back foot is gonna be slightly turned backwards or it can be parallel to the baseline. You can experiment with this and find what works best for you. And now the way you're gonna line up your feet is have the middle of the back foot line up with the heel of the front foot. This is gonna be your setup. And now what's important to understand with this platform stance, and it doesn't work quite well if you have a big coil on your serve. So if you have a medium uh, length coil, or even if you have a coil that's quite small, uh, this stance is gonna go work great for you. So if I try to coil in this stance, it kind of locks my front foot and puts pressure on my hip and doesn't really work well uh, for this particular serve. So it's more comfortable to have uh, just a regular length coil with this particular platform stance. Now the next platform stance that you can try out is what I call the lateral platform stance. This is a stance that's used by Roger Federer and Pete Sampras. And basically there's gonna be a separation between the tip of the back foot and the heel of the front foot. There needs to be space here. So the feet are a little bit wider apart and this beautifully sinks with a larger coil. So if you do have a larger coiling motion on your serve a la Sampras or Federer, uh, this type of stance is gonna be preferable for you. On the other hand, if you are uncomfortable with coiling a lot on your serve and you try to separate your feet in this manner and then you coil a very little, this is not going to work well on your serve. You might not be able to come out of the stance uh, very powerfully. Interestingly, on the lateral platform stance, if the back foot is pointing towards the back fence, this accommodates a much easier coil. And you can try this out. So basically, point the back foot towards the back fence as you're setting up for your platform stance. You will find that the coil is going to be much easier to execute. And now don't worry, this foot will turn once you initiate the racket drop. It will either uh, be parallel to the baseline or if you're attempting a flat serve, it will actually start pointing forward. The next platform stance is what I call the extreme lateral stance. And this is something that was used by John McEnroe and currently by Pierre Huge Herbert. And basically the feet are gonna be separated really wide. And interestingly, the back foot is gonna be parallel to the front foot. And this beautifully works with an extreme coil as well. So if you remember how John McEnroe served, he would stand like this with this extreme platform stance. And then as he took his racket up, the back foot would turn backwards to accommodate a huge coil where basically his chest was pointing towards the back fence. And this is a serve that's very difficult to recreate and that's why you don't see it so often. Most players will not be able to get out of a coil this large and I'm one of those players. I cannot turn this much. I'm unable to come around the other way and now all my serves will have an accidental slice as a result of it. Another platform stance that's very rare and difficult to execute is the reverse platform stance where basically the back foot is on the outside of the front foot. This is a stance that was used by Boris Becker and Jana Novotna. Interestingly, these players would be catapulted off the ground and they would land on their dominant leg. See, the 99.99% of tennis players will land on their non-dominant foot. So if you are one of those players that's rare and lands on the dominant foot inside the court, this is a stance that might work for you.
Another platform stance that's quite difficult to execute is the narrow platform stance where the feet are basically close together. And this is something that Andy Roddick used on his serve. And this stance will not work well with a large variety of serves. It almost only works with an abbreviated serve. So if you do happen to have an abbreviated serve, a la Andy Roddick, this is a stance that you should give a try. And the reason why the narrow stance doesn't work with many other service styles except the abbreviated serve is that the abbreviated serve is very short in length and therefore the feet have to match that. So there's not a lot of time to bring the back foot up and there's not a lot of time to separate the feet and come out of a position like that. Overall, without a backswing and an abbreviated motion, we almost have to have the feet closer together in order to match this type of serve. So on the pinpoint stance, there's also some variations that you can try out. But first, let's talk about how far the position of feet apart from each other. And when it comes to the pinpoint stance, you can actually benefit from having the feet further apart and you will gain more forward momentum if the back foot travels a further path towards the front foot. The first type of pinpoint stance is what I call the regular pinpoint stance and is used by players such as Nadal, Zverev or Karolina Pliskova and basically the back foot will come up to the front foot. Now once we set the back foot the feet are going to be positioned parallel to each other. The one advantage of having this type of pinpoint stance is you can actually feel where to stop with the back foot. This can be a quite a challenge for some players. Because we're looking up towards the ball, uh, we are just going by feel where the back foot is stopping. And many players will stop at different distances from the front foot. And so by bringing the back foot up to the front foot, you can kind of touch uh, the front foot, something that Zverev does. And therefore, you can always set the back foot at the same distance from the front foot. And there's a couple of different ways to execute this particular pinpoint stance. One way is to have the feet separated from each other. Now again, just like the platform stance, this can actually help us coil a little bit more initially. And now, once we bring the back foot up to the front foot, we are likely going to be remaining in that coil position. Now, if you aren't comfortable with coiling this much, uh, you can bring the back foot up straight in and this works quite well with a serve that doesn't have a big coil. Another style of the pinpoint stance is what I call the corkscrew serve. Basically the back foot is going to come on the outside of the front foot. And some of the greatest servers of all time have used this particular pinpoint style. And some of them are Ivo Karlovic, Goran Ivanišević, Venus Williams, G. Forget, and also Patrick Rafter. And this can be done in many different ways. So Ivo Karlovic, for example, will set the back foot on the outside. And now, as he comes in, uh, the back foot is basically traveling straight forward. Uh, other players, such as Rafter and Venus, will set the back foot uh, behind the body like this and then the foot is going to come around the front foot in this manner. And the big advantage of this particular style is that it loads the body in a more aggressive way. So if I have a coil and now my back foot is on the outside, see my body kind of gets twisted like a corkscrew and when I undo this system I get a little bit more energy transferred into the ball. And there's a couple of disadvantages to this style as well. So the first disadvantage is that some players are simply not flexible enough uh, to have their body in this corkscrew type fashion and for them it would make more sense to have more of a regular pinpoint stance. Also there is a danger of foot faulting with this particular style where some players will go too far with the back foot and end up committing a foot fault in this way. One thing that I want you to keep in mind on the pinpoint stance is to stop trying to load that back foot. So regardless of what type of pinpoint stance you have, you will not be able to load the back foot even if you wanted to because naturally as you are tossing the ball in front, you will lean forward and you will have most of the weight on the front foot. And if you watch carefully on players such as Ivanišević, Isner, 
you will see that the back foot is barely touching the ground as they're going into their loading phase if you watch carefully only the tip of the back foot is on the ground so it shows you that these players are absolutely not loading that back foot and this is something that I also encourage you to practice as you're doing a pinpoint stance to only lightly bring that back foot up and we're not putting too much pressure and trying to set this foot this is going to be something that's difficult to come out of so it's enough to just simply have a little bit of pressure applied to the back foot only the tip of the back foot dragging along the ground and then the majority of the weight once you're set is going to be on your front foot So I encourage you to try all these different stances and you will quickly know which one works best for you. In my case, I have always been more comfortable with a platform stance. Now, it doesn't mean that I cannot serve with a pinpoint, but there's just something about the platform stance that suits my serve better. And it doesn't mean that this will always be the case. I might all of a sudden start serving better with a pinpoint stance. So it's always wise to experiment with stances. And there's even some examples of big servers on tour that have changed their stances. Uh, one player is Joe Fritzonga, who had changed from a pinpoint stance to a platform stance. And another player on the women's tour is Coco Vandeweghe. And finally, I want to talk about which one I think is the better stance. Well, I think both stances are perfectly fine because biomechanically, there's really no difference. See, on a pinpoint stance, it might be a little bit more forward momentum applied to the serve but it might come at the cost of timing and it might not be worth it to do so this is very individual but overall the vast majority of the best servers of all time does serve with a pinpoint stance and i think the correlation there is that it does give a little bit more momentum and power but again this might come at the cost of timing and it might actually cause you to lose power and it just in my case i get less power when i do a pinpoint stance because my timing gets all messed up and i'm unable to apply the same type of power so in my case i serve faster with a platform stance and you might be the same way so the best thing to do is just to experiment all these stances and you will quickly find out which one works best for your serve.